Today we have potentially the longest running fan request. I have seen millions of, or thousands of comments, hundreds. I would say hundreds of comments requesting this Soju. And today we review it. So get ready to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit notifications, bing it, ping it, tweet it, and stop asking for it in the comments because I'm finally doing it. We're doing it today. Soju. So how do we start off with Soju? We start off with the Jinro, which appears to be the most popular brand of Soju, very popular South Korean drink. Now Soju itself is a pretty broad term when it comes to this particular drink. It is made from distilled alcohol. Sometimes that distilled is made from rice. It can be made from other things like tapioca or potatoes. But anyways, this is a drink variety of it. And this is the strawberry. So we're gonna try that out. To be honest with you, this is one of the first drinks we are trying that I've never had. This and Malort. I'd never had Malort. Never wanna have it again. <laughs> uh, this I might wanna have again though. So, excited about it. We got strawberries here and we got a little frog on a straw sucking right out of the middle of that strawberry. And he looks so happy. I wish I could pat that little toad on the head. Toad or frog? I'll be honest, I don't know the difference. Does that make me a bad person? I don't know. Why does it make me feel like I'm a bad person? Frogs are wet, toads are dry, right? Anyways, I do like this bottle. You know what I say about the green tint in the bottles? They're trying to protect those delicate flavors in there. It's like Mickey's malt liquor. Really trying to protect that flavor. You really don't want any degradation of that flavor because any downhill on that, whoo! <laughs> Here comes the apocalypse. Now this looks like a very drinkable container that you would drink right out of the bottle with this. And I will say this comes in at 13% alcohol. Did a little bit of research on soju. It says that it can range in alcohol content from 16% all the way up to 53%. So obviously this is one of the varieties where they took the soju and then they made it basically into a cocktail. But still 13% is, uh, is pretty high. So I can see people getting in trouble with this thinking that they're throwing back a beer. And uh, two of these, it's basically like a six pack. I mean, it's a little dangerous. They got the little twist off, whoop, whoop. Throw back two or three of those real quick. Suddenly your friend is waking you up on his couch, telling you to clean up the kitchen floor because you ruined it last night with your vomit, your poop, and your sperm. Theoretically, hypothetically, both theoretically and hypothetically. Well, let's open this up and unravel this mystery. I'm just gonna grab this uh, little glass here. Seems a little fancy. Hmm, it does pour. A little thick. That is a very pleasant and yet accurate strawberry smell. That is very nice. It has a little bit of the strawberry candy, but it still has that, that real fruitiness, that authenticity to it. You kind of see it coating the glass. So I would assume this is a sweeter drink. So I'm just guessing, just looking at it, looking at the viscosity. Yeah. Not a word I use a lot when it comes to cocktails. I mean, it does have a very pleasant strawberry smell. It's kind of reminded me a little bit of a body spray that Phoebe used to use. A very expensive body spray that she got from Paris. Now, it smelled like strawberries and also like really horrendous alcohol use. That was just Phoebe. Ultimately, she ended up smelling like Boone's Farm. Strawberry daiquiri. Apple wine product. <clears throat> Back to the soju. Let's give it a taste. Interesting. Has a very sour note to it. Strawberry definitely coming through. Very sweet on the palate. I mean, it has a it has a sourness to it that I was absolutely not expecting. I don't feel like I've been iced, but it's having a little bit of a Smirnoff Ice effect on me. Let's give it another taste. That is very interesting. Kind of pickly. I'm trying to comprehend why you requested this so often. I mean, it definitely has a unique flavor. It's not off-putting. I mean, I could drink a lot of this. Oh, I could drink a lot of it. Is that what you wanted? You wanted me to drink a lot of it? <laughs> you dirty dogs, you. <laughs> yeah, I could drink a lot of this. I got nothing on my calendar for at least three days. 11 days. 
Well, for the foreseeable future, nothing on my calendar. So let's have at it. Ooh, that sourness really gets you. <laughs> hmm. Not getting enough from that. <laughs> That's a tiny little glass, isn't it? Tiny little glass for a tiny little man. I'll just go straight from the bottle. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of like a strawberry who's a really cool jazz musician, but also a little bit too big of a Harry Potter fan. Like, dial it back there, Meredith. Sorry to any Merediths out there. If you're a big Harry Potter fan and your name is Meredith, comment below. Bonus points if you got a Hufflepuff tattoo. I'm a Hufflepuff through and through. Speaking of, who wants me to review Butterbeer? Doesn't that sound delicious? But kids were getting drunk in those books, right? I mean, Harry definitely describes getting drunk off Butterbeer in what? Fifth grade? That's weird. But drinking age in Europe? You know, that checks out. Getting away from a little bit. This strawberry's nice. Ooh. Right up my nose. <laughs> Boy, South Korea, they've been a cultural hotspot lately, right? Squid Games? That's awesome. Parasite, best winner. Have you guys watched Old Boy? <coughs> Not Spike Lee's version. Park Chan Wook's version. Blew my mind. Had to pick my job off the floor. If there is a squid game revolving around drinking and tasting notes, I'd win. I'd win any of those games. Unless they brought in Abby. And she reminds me of that big giant robot doll. Looks in the eyes as it executes you. Mm, death. She executed my heart. I would win at the drinking games, but she would win at the thinking games. Phoebe would win at the drinking games, all the drinking games, she would win it. And the vomiting games, yeah. Or as we call it, hurling. I'm a little upset I only have one bottle here, you know? I could throw back two more of these. It's smooth. Again, I'm a little confused about why this was requested so much. Normally it's, try this terrible, horrible thing, your suffering makes us happy. Or try this wonderful thing. Your life is so miserable. We want you to have just a little bit of joy. This is just pretty good. Oh, I see. So this isn't the authentic soju. This is soju used in basically a cocktail fruit drink. The real soju, that's what I need to get my hands on. The unregulated stuff. That'll teach me a thing or two. That'll curl the old nipple hairs. Yeah, I have nipple hairs, so what? They make a little ring around each nipple. Sorry, that must be the soju talking. Who else would be drinking this? Maybe an American businessman who's at a Korean barbecue place, reading Wings of Fire on his business Kindle. Do they have a business Kindle? They should. I don't have access to Kindles right now, so I'm assuming there's a business Kindle, a sport Kindle, a spicy Kindle, and I don't know, a friend zone Kindle. Been there in a marriage. Which is odd, we were married and I was friend zoned. That was the first clue that the marriage was ending, just five years before it actually did. Her words, you've been friend zoned. But I don't know who treats a friend like that. Because in fact, I mean, some of Abby's friends she treated very well, you know? Some of her male friends, you know? I kept asking, why don't we go on couples massages together? <laughs> I guess their friend zone was different than mine, you know? Different zip code. Anyways, back to the soju. Feeling my legs a little bit. Pleasant drink. Again, I think this is the cocktail variety and not the full frontal soju. I'm gonna try to get my hands on that because uh, my interest is peaked. For my rating, I'm giving this, uh, I don't know, 71. That's a pleasant drink. Definitely feel it right in your, uh, right in your thighs. That's where I'm feeling it. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. 71. 